फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट वंस द ऑर्डर ऑफ डिसमिसल डेटेड थर्ड जनवरी टू थाउजेंड थ्री हैड बिन पास द हाई कोर्ट शुड नॉट हैव डायरेक्टेड कॉन्टिन्यूएशन एंड कंक्लूजन ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंटल प्रोसीडिंग्स परसुएंट टू एनदर चार्जशीट रिलेटिंग टू एम्बेजलमेंट ऑफ फंड्स इरेगुलर पेमेंट्स मिसिंग वाउचर्स एट्सेट्रा ऑन द सेड एस्पेक्ट द लर्न डिविजन बेंच एंड द सिंगल जज इन द ऑर्डर्स अंडर चैलेंज हैव राइटली ऑब्जर्व दैट देयर कैन नॉट बी टू ऑर्डर्स ऑफ डिसमिसल यट हैव एरोनियसली कमेंटेड अपॉन द इंक्वायरी रिपोर्ट and the second order of dismissal dated 25th october 2013 this second order of dismissal should have been set aside on the limited ground and reason that there cannot be two orders of dismissal leaving it open to the appellant to take steps and recommence proceedings in the charge sheet relating to embezzlement of funds irregular payments and missing vouchers etc should the first order of dismissal dated 3rd january 2003 be set aside in other words departmental proceedings void the charge sheet relating to embezzlement irregular payments and missing vouchers etc should for the present be kept in abeyance reference in this regard can be made to the judgment of the court in state of up versus vijay kumar agarwal and another 2016 3 SCC 197 wherein it has been held that the employee who has already been dismissed from service cannot be imposed any other penalty on the conclusion of inquiry pertaining to the charge sheet dated 6 July 1988 therefore at this stage no purpose is going to be served to continue with the inquiry into the said charge sheet at the same time it is also to be borne in mind that respondent one has challenged dismissal order and the matter is pending before the tribunal in case the said dismissal is set aside by the tribunal and or the high court this court and respondent one is reinstated in service as a result thereof the relationship of employer employee between the parties shall also stand restored in that eventuality it would be permissible for the appellant to proceed with the inquiry relating to charge sheet dated 6 july 1988 accordingly the present appeal is partly allowed whereby we agree that the second order of dismissal dated 25th october 2013 could not have been passed and accordingly we would set aside all observations and findings recorded by the division bench and single judge with regard to the inquiry report dated 28th may 2012 with the direction that further proceedings pursuant to the said inquiry report would be kept in abeyance and can be recommenced in case the first dismissal order dated 3rd january 2003 is set aside and quest in case of recommencement it will be open to the first respondent to raise objections to the inquiry report before the disciplinary authority who would consider the said objections it would be equally open to the disciplinary authority who would consider the said objections it would be equally open to the disciplinary authority to rectify and correct mistakes or lapses if any and proceed in accordance with law we have not made any observation on the merits of the inquiry report or the procedure which has to be followed stop